Why do you why do you do this to yourself? I, I don't know, man. Like, I gotta figure it out. But here we go, game one, Reed versus MACD. And of course, MACD doing the right thing that you're supposed to do in this matchup versus Marth. You have to smother him with turnups when you have the space. And Reeve getting some good hits in. He's a. The interesting thing is I noticed from the Midwest Marts is that they love to swing. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely swing masters. Like you got the dash dancing Marts and you got the Marts that just love to push buttons. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because Bro is the same way when I see him play. Like he he swings a lot, but he know what he's doing. Ooh, is that a stitch face? Oh, oh yeah, it definitely was. Yeah, they had it. That's a really good a good start here percentage wise for Reeve. And now we're seeing a bit of the dash dance. Yeah, but see, this is the thing. It's just, Ooh. oh, yeah, I was going to say, trying to secure the KO when Peach is at high percent because Marv can't combo anymore, but he takes the first stock. That spacing was so good. Yeah, it was really good. After the Nair, he should have went for a re-grab. She landed right on the ground, and annoying Mac DC, he's going to down smash <laughs> right there. And the hitbox is extremely large for, for Peach's down smash. doesn't look like it's going to hit, but it does. And MACD's down smashes did a lot of work yesterday in Cruise, especially against Europe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody just kept running into it. <laughs> but Reeve seems a bit prepared. He's done his scouting report. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> that'd be funny if he, Reeve had a page of notes. It was like, this guy loves to down smash. Yeah, yeah. He probably has like a laptop like the Buzz does. <laughs> but for MACD, it's one line. Yeah, yeah. it's one line. Ooh, down did you see wow. that pivot? And he taunted the <laughs> disrespect. Yo, MACD, you gonna take that? <laughs> The Midwest is getting pretty excited right now. Yeah, man. He has, like, the whole venue on his back right now. I'm loving these nares from Reed, man. He's spacing them really well. So even if MACD blocks it, he's still safe. Yeah, and that puts MACD in shield, too. Mm -hmm. Yep, and it definitely depletes oh. his shield. Oh, see those dash attacks that you were talking about yes. right there. And, of course, he gets another down smash for the KO. So Reeve has to watch out for that whenever uh, MACD is close to the ledge. Wow, the bravest affairs. That Burger King crown. <laughs> Why is it called the Burger King crown? <laughs> I mean, you Do I just, even ask? Yeah, man. Just, you just have it your way. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right, so uh, MACD definitely bringing it back. Wow, that shield. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. It's so funny. I bet Mac, half of MACD's damage was done by, like, down smash. Yeah. Yeah. All right, a super tight battle right now. Can Mac? Oh, oh good no. air dodge. Yeah, that was good air dodge. Just like a 50 50, because sometimes you don't know if Peach is either going to air dodge or wait and then come in with a fair. Ooh, and Ooh. he dies. Oh, wow. Mac D. Mac D in the lead now for the first time. Can he secure the kill here? He has position. Yeah. Ooh, great air dodge by Mac D right there to avoid the up tilt follow up. Oh, that's a lot of damage. This is like the painful part of Mars. Everything looks good yeah. until this moment in the match. Yeah. yeah, you get hit by that certain thing, and yep, it's just so much damage for Peach. Oh, it's oh no. I feel like he could have recovered just a little bit better. He could have like just pulled back and then went for the upbeat. Yeah. But he just went like way too low. So then that made MACD like easily just secure the ledge. The interesting thing here is that MACD went really deep into Reeve's shield, so that down smash just ate it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. It was, it was Mark good. shield isn't the greatest either, so then getting hit by a multiple multiple hit move like down smash, yep. you're bound to get shield stab at some point. Ooh, oh, MACD going in. Yeah, he's going in right now. And Mac, as much as we say like Reeve loves to swing, Mac D just loves to push buttons. So it's yeah, like a little bit weird. Like when you play, think of Armada, like they are very slow, methodical in approaching you. He just likes to go in. Yeah. And that pacing is very strange to deal with. Yep. Because people aren't used to it, man. People are, are thinking, you know, Peach is always going to stay back, take their time floating, stuff like that. But no, Mac D just goes in. Ooh, he said, yo, keep crouch canceling. And he calls out the no tech too. No. Oh, Dude, that he upbeat too point. early right there. Good awareness of MACD not to throw a hitbox and just to grab ledge mm -hmm. to yep. tie the stock up. Yep, sometimes you just gotta grab that ledge. Ooh. Wow, that instant turnaround power show. Oh, wow, he actually could have had a really good follow up there with a short hop fair into down air if MACD didn't do a good DI. Yeah. Oh, very All right. nice. Just keeping him in the air. Oh, that was uh, pretty bad. He needed to add a lot more damage in that spot. Yep. Uh, good shield DI right there uh, from Reeve. 
to not get shield stun. Wow. <clears throat> no tech right there. Good setup by MACD. And he has a bomb. <laughs> okay, just that's, that's really smart that he threw it away, actually. Because the Marth can just go use his invulnerability, and then the bomb will explode. Yeah, so it could end up uh, hurting MACD in the long run. Oh. I don't know oh. how MACD does it, but he just like adds damage really quick. Really quickly, because uh, sometimes people just get a little bit too impatient, because they get hit once, and then they just don't go into defense mode. So then they, they end up getting hit two, three, then four times. So he goes like zero to 50, like real yeah. fast. And as you mentioned, MACD is getting a lot off these uh, forward airs. I think sometimes we forget how disjointed that forward air hitbox is. Yeah. It's really good. Like, it's like kind of slow. And then like, it's like most of the time you see it coming, but then you still get hit by it. It's yeah, it's one of those moves. Oh, that movement. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. Your your grab is only 1.9 units long, man. 1.9. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Sheik's is 1.3, so that's pretty crazy. You know what we haven't really seen much from uh, Reef that would be able to handle that range? Yeah. Down tilt. Yeah, it's true. He hasn't really been doing down tilt at all. Ooh, Ooh but we're seeing wow. Tibber 4 smashes. Yo, Reef, though. Reef making a name for himself here. Giving Ooh. MACD a challenge. Ooh, the great shield drop right there. The flavor of the month. <laughs> the flavor. <laughs> What's next month is going to be, DJ? Hmm. I don't know. I want to see Marv's do more perfect counters out of shield. Perfect counter? Yeah, Ooh. like without leaving the ground. Yeah, the moon does it a lot. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> I thought he was going to live. Yeah. <laughs> All right. uh, good stuff to Reeve there. Super close games uh, with MACD, but yeah. MACD just made those adjustments and um, yeah, he capitalized on his punishes whenever. And I think uh, we could have had a little bit more patience because he kept running into Fair, and I feel like he could just wave dash back because MACD was doing it every time. Yeah. And down tilt, too. Yeah, I was going to mention that Yeah, because he wasn't really doing it at all. And that's such a good tool versus Peach. Because he was just like waiting outside of down smash range. It's like, well, down tilt's your best 